you people don't have fun. You have debates and bad opinions. I can't understand anything that's being said. The most ratchet and the most hood track on the billboard. People. Why did he put it in quotation marks? Racist, so racist. You've been making $2,000 a minute is what you tell us, Polo G. <laughs> have sexual relations. This level of dick riding is unprecedented. In this one, we're gonna be talking about two opposites in today's culture, Republicans and rappers, and specifically two individuals with a similar take on the cultural zeitgeist that is hip hop rap culture. Mr. Walsh and Mr. Ben Shapiro. Now right away I want to let you know if you're not a fan of the channel, I won't be addressing this as a leftist or a rightist. We're gonna be approaching this purely on a human level. You know obviously I am a fan of hip-hop but over here we always try our best to understand where other people are coming from. The rap genre has recently been dominating the charts and pretty much driving the culture forward as a whole. So it's no surprise political entertainers like these two would try to capitalize on the hype. So do they appreciate the culture for what it is, or do they have something to say? Matt Walsh. Just off first impression, it's like his name was scientifically engineered to be as American as possible. If you don't know who he is, Matt Walsh has recently come into the spotlight for his What is a Woman documentary where he basically goes around asking people what is a woman and people just can't seem to answer this seemingly simple question isn't that something please if, if one person could tell me what a woman is you are not here for women we ask you to leave what is that and that's what these political entertainers love to do they love boiling down these complex multi-layered issues to one question, even when that question is not actually a stance in itself, but merely just a response to another movement. But I'm not gonna get into the politics. This is a music channel after all, as of now. So let's let's look at these reactions that Mr. Matt Walsh made on Rap Star by Polo G and We Paid by Lil Baby and 42 Duck. Now I picked these two reactions in particular because these artists are not really politically affiliated, unlike someone like a Cardi B or a Lil Nas X, which both play a role in empowering their respective fan bases and echoing progressive sentiments. But with these artists, there's nothing else at play. It's just the songs. So I came here to get some legitimate criticism and maybe even get a new perspective. Who, who knows? Rap Star is the song, and uh, it's been number one on YouTube for you know weeks now. It has like 50 million views. Big deal, big hit. Let's uh, let's check it out. I have planes flying, crowds screaming, money counting, chains clanging. Sh okay, quick quick thing here. What what kind of dealership transaction is this? It's a music video, but all right. Obviously, he's trying to be funny and take the piece but shouldn't he love this this is like consumerism at its finest do it sound like i'm kidding i've been making like two thousand a minute so high okay i gotta stop it already i it, i mean it does kind of sound like you're kidding you've been making two thousand dollars a minute is what you tell us polo g apparently mr wash isn't familiar with the common method of exaggeration which is used in literally every form of expression, not even just art. Again, obviously he's joking, but is there anything else he has to say besides broadly making these snide remarks and undermining the tracks by stupidly saying, well, technically that doesn't make any logical sense, so it's stupid. Let's check out the lyrics here. I won't love a hoe after we have sexual relations. <laughs> have sexual relations. Just say have sex. What? I don't get it. What, you just can't have any fun? Everything just has to be grammatically and statistically correct. Like, Jesus Christ. He's proud of his pants, and then in the next line, he's crying out to God in agony. Every day is a battle, it's a struggle, in my $10,000 pants on my private jet, after I just bought 10 BMWs for no reason. God. Why hast thou forsaken me? Some prepubescent logic is Matt Walsh claims money equals happiness. Like, come on, Matt. 
Even you should know that's not the case. I know all those Manscaped ads have been paying off and you look dead inside. I mean, you, you look like you need some fucking therapy, to be honest. I just want to leave Earth. When they ask if I'm okay, I, it just make everything seem worse. This is like a 14 year old girl's diary entry. Hating. This is just 10 minutes of a random suburban dude hating on rap music for no reason. Well, actually there is a reason, but we're going to get into that later. You know what? In all seriousness, he, he does, I'll, I'll say this. He does a pretty good job of rhyming here uh, and even rhyming in multiple syllables. So credit where it's due. <sighs> really? That's all you can give him credit for? Just, just the mere technical aspect of it. Not the performance, not the sound, not the aesthetic. Just purely what's on paper, not the actual work of art. Why am I not surprised? I think I have an idea what kind of music Matt would like. I guess the message I'm getting here from the song is that, listen, you know, gangsters have feelings too, I guess. Well, that's a message. I'm not sure how relatable it is or worthwhile, but it is a message. Fucking comments. Watching Matt Walsh review rap video is the only way I would willingly subject myself to having to hear rap. And so say I. Abominable shit by people. Why did he put it in quotation marks? Racist, so racist. Who don't have the slightest clue about music theory or even know how to play an instrument. Instant gratification is all they know. What do you mean by that? What does he mean by they? Who exactly is he referring to? Okay, so maybe Polo G just isn't Matt's cup of tea. And that's okay, listen, I'm the first one to get tired of Piano G. But let's see what he thinks of the 2020 single hit We Paid by Lil Baby and 42 Duck. Now look, I know nobody's asking, but if you ask me, this is undeniably one of the best songs of 2020. I don't give a shit what you think. So let's see what kind of constructive criticism Matt has to offer in his We Paid reaction. Let's do it. I thought that uh, I'd like to review some popular music, you know, some of the stuff ki that kids are listening to these days because I thought that could be kind of fun. Oh, right. Okay, so now we know. That's why he's doing this because he wants to do something fun. Ah, no. No, you people don't have fun. You have debates and bad opinions. I haven't heard this uh, this joint yet, as the kids would say, but I've- Yeah, nobody says that. You got it though. Good try. But nobody said that for the past 25 years. Stop right there for just a moment, because you know, riding on the window of a car is not generally advised and doing it while holding a wad of cash is also it seems like a disaster waiting to happen, frankly. I, I don't know why he's holding the cash. I don't know what, are they going to the bank? Is he gonna deposit it in his savings account? Bro, is he gonna do anything but make these dry, sarcastic comments on literally every aspect of the music video? I'm still waiting to hear an actual worthwhile observation on anything. Hold my Glock, I don't really like that shit. Young turn, can't wipe no Excuse my friends don't like no Okay, I, I did just pick up there where he said, excuse my French. Is he actually speaking French? Because I, I can't understand anything that's being said. Ah, that seems like a you problem, Matt. Why is your face 70% forehead? I swear to God, he has more forehead than he does facial features. This is crazy. Palm angels down to my sock. Can't hold my Glock. Reason, I don't really like that. <laughs> Young turn N-word, can't wife no Excuse my French, don't like no Why do you think he picked this track in particular? Because it was certainly not the most popular at the time. There's several other rap songs he could have picked, which were higher on the charts, were being listened to more. Don't you think he picked this one because it's the least poppy? the most ratchet and the most hood track on the billboard because his fan base would relate to this one the least it's the easiest to make fun of because it's the least relatable one yeah 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 yeah. we pay i'm gonna turn it over a little more this I, want you to know, I want you to notice something here they're saying we paid we paid over and over again but they aren't telling us what they paid for is this supposed to be like a slam like his ignorance of contemporary slang is somehow impressive all this proves is that you're out of touch and i have no idea how that is impressive in 
any capacity. Okay, and, and this this video has 100 million views. So I, I, there's obviously an important message that we should be getting from this. Yes, 100 million views on this music video. What? Bro, who told you millions of views equals message? Why would you even think that? Besides, who the fuck are you to talk about message? What message are you making with these reaction videos? What are you saying? What is your point? Exactly, you're not saying anything, so shut the fuck up. Baby, the child, I can give me some steam, got a back in the pickup, I won't even leave, run it up, I'm rugged, the bit of DT, I'm running these crazy with me and Marquis. First turn, for now. Okay, I, I just feel like I could relate so much to what's being said here. So what, now we value music based on how relatable it is? What do you expect, little baby, to talk about filing taxes and taking his kids to school? Why do you expect pop music to be relatable to your 40 year old dad life? It's not supposed to be, that's the point. And I have a lot to think about now. I think we all do after listening to that. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to those reflections and thank you for watching. I'm sorry, but there wasn't one point you could have gotten across in these two reaction videos. Like, he could have at least used some unrelated statistics to get his point across like a real Republican would. But no, he's just a failure on all levels. Straight faced all the way through. Walsh, you legend. Okay, say that again, but this time without his dick in your mouth. Is he going to the bank to deposit it into a savings account? Laughing my ass off. 900 people thought this was gut-bustingly hilarious. Matt nearly made me crash my car during this review. I almost struck another vehicle when Matt said, Not that rock, that pit. Woof. I'm going to sue him for emotional distress. He was just reading out the lyrics. That wasn't even a joke. That was absolutely hilarious! And four different laughing emojis, like this... This level of dick riding is unprecedented. My guy went out of his way to find four different laughing emojis just so he could post this comment. So if there's anything we learned today, I guess it's the fact that it's very easy to make Republicans laugh. Larry, the guy who works for the Department of Water and Power. You tell me how that got in there. What? <laughs> He's right. Who knows how that got in there? And that's really the thing with these videos. They don't have a point. They're not here to prove anything. They just serve as entertainment. In fact, most of the content in this vein is just entertainment masquerading as political commentary, which can often fool the viewer. You think you're educating yourself, but in actuality, you're wasting time like you would watching a No Life Shack reaction video. It's the same shit. You'll probably get more substance out of that than you would this, honestly. Hey, you better subscribe right now because we're gonna be talking about Ben Shapiro in the next one, and you wouldn't wanna miss that, I promise you.